Hey guys, just finished watching Arrow, Season 6, Episode 20, Shifting Allegiances. Um, wow, what an episode. Um, this episode starts off with Rene, he is back from the hospital, he's getting ready to join back the team, the Outsiders, what I call them, but uh, they don't really have a name, which I wish they gave themselves a name so we know what to, to call them. Um, Oliver tries to get Anatoly to turn on Diaz uh, by offering him... You know, here I got you back into the Bratva, and here you go. If you do this, I'll be able to get you uh, for this. I'll be able to get you, uh, you know, back into the Bratva if you help me take down Diaz. And it kind of backfires on him, but it kind of doesn't at the same time. Uh, Diggle uh, is fitting well into Argus. Uh, Black uh, Black Siren ends up setting up a meeting uh, with um, Diaz and Quentin since he's now the mayor now that Oliver Queen is, is you know, impeached and stuff. Uh, so that was, but she said she was sorry to him. So that's going to be cool to play with that story and see how that is. And it, it, she does admitting, end up admitting to him later on that she is terrified of uh, of Diaz and stuff. And I think that's going to be quite cool to see what things go with that storyline and how if they when they eventually take out Diaz in the season or if unless he goes into the season the season seven, which I hope he doesn't. I don't think he's enough of a character, enough of a villain to last two seasons or anything. So I do see him, you know, biting the dust or something like that by the end of this season. Um, him doing that and you know, how is that really how where is Quinton's relationship with um, Black Siren gonna be after this season so i think that's really going to be cool to see all that um the outsiders end up taking down a drug operation but it ends up being a sting where they were just trying to take out uh, one of them is trying to take out the other uh drug gang and stuff and diggle ends up showing up with argus to save them diggle ends up apologizing to the team um and then ray R renee ends up going to Diggle because he started having problems with joining back going back out in the field and um He's he's not really ready to go back since he's worried about Zoe, his daughter, his daughter and stuff. Uh, Diaz ends up fighting Oliver for the city. End up having the, an interesting fighting match, which was interesting the way they did it because there was like no background music. It was just them fighting. It was quite nice the way they did it. Quite different and it was quite interesting the way that, that they did. And it was clear that it was all just Stephen Amell and um, what's his name? I think Kurt. Uh, yeah. Kurt is his name, Kurt Ace, Ace, Ace Vito, um, so that's the guy's name, so there's just the two of those, just the actors and stuff, so that was really cool the way they did that, it was quite interesting, um, but then Diaz and Depp always obviously winning when he stabs him uh, with a knife type thing and uh, cheating and stuff, so, and then uh, later on we see that, we find out that Zoe, uh, Renee's daughter, knows that he's, he's Wild Dog and you know knows about everything because, um, because uh, Quentin Meek because uh, Curtis and um, and Dinah, whenever they uh, were taking over, were watching uh, Zoe while Renee was in the hospital, they were talking way too loud about their secret stuff. And I think that's a qu quite an interesting idea because there's so many times in TV shows where where the characters just kind of like, hey, I need to talk to you, and they just step like two or three feet. They step across the room. You know, they go from one corner of the room to the other room. You're still in the same freaking room. They can hear you. You know, the person's not deaf. You're not in a in an old folks home. It do, that doesn't work to just step out, step two feet, and then, uh, you know, step ten feet away and then say, oh, you can't hear them. No, no, no. You got to get out of the room, go to a different room. Then they can't hear you. So I think that's quite interesting playing with that. And I liked when they do this, make it more realistic rather than just oh, let's just whisper a little far away. And then no, it doesn't work like that. You know, you got to be a lot farther away because they can totally hear you. Um, so that's an interesting idea to see. And we don't really see the, the the effects of that. Like we don't really see uh, Wild Dog after that at all too much. He doesn't go out in the field or anything. Um, but it's going to be cool to see that going out uh, for the rest. You know, going out like he's going to be going out and fighting and stopping Diaz for Zoe. You know, not uh, in spite of Zoe or anything like that. Just or not while worrying about Zoe, but uh, just kind of doing it for her. And I think that's going to be quite an interesting idea to play with that and to see how that relationship's going to go, how that builds up, and maybe see what what um, Diggle's opinion on that idea is and how that's going to be. And you know, I think if this show goes long enough to see Diggle's uh, son. I think is it John D Diggle Jr. is his name, or is it no his daughter type thing? I don't know. It's confusing as to which one is left. I'm pretty sure he has a, he has a son right now, but now it's a it was a daughter, now it's a son. But uh, having a Diggle, uh, Diggle's son, who ultimately will become the Green Arrow, it's unclear if that's still the same Connor Hawk that we saw in 2049 uh, when Stephen Amell was in uh, was cameo came to uh, Legend of Tomorrow and he had that goatee it wasn't the goatee it was it was a good it was clear that he, he had a goatee 
then then it was really long, but then stopped shaving. So the goatee parts are a little longer, but you don't see the definition of a goat the goatee type thing. So um, I think that's really going to be cool to see where how that kind of plays on with kind of. Uh, Diggle's how it goes. You have the two different types of relationship with Diggle. You know, he's a, he's doing the vigilante stuff too, but he's also uh, has a daughter, has a kid type thing, and Renee has a kid. And seeing the same d- different uh, scenarios, but going into two different paths, I think that's really a cool idea to play with. Um, then Diaz ends up sending Oliver to jail, and that's where we end the episode. He, since he owns the police, he owns the courts, he owns everything. Um, He's just sent him to jail. So Oliver's going to go to trial next week's episode. And in the trailers, we can clearly see that Tommy Merlin is back. And he ends up jumping down. Uh, he ends up, the hood ends up showing up. And he ends up jumping down, becoming the Green Arrow. So I think that's really interesting to play with that. If I'm not mistaken, that sh- looks like it should be um, the Tommy Merlin from um, from Earth X. The one that was uh, they, they had locked up who is actually Prometheus from Earth X, who actually was a good guy. Uh, so that's going to be cool to check that out. It kind of makes me want to rewatch the um, the uh, the crossover, actually, again. And I think I might do that, or at least just that episode, or jump to that that clip just to when he explains himself, because he's only in the, the crossover for a very brief moment since he's busy on his own TV show. So I think it's really going to be cool to see um, how that kind of works out and kind of just see some backstory to that so i think it's really going to be cool to see where, where things go and how that kind of all plays out and you know is this that is it that 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 um tommy i think it's quite interesting to see that and i'm surprised that they put that in the trailer and not put that at the end of this episode that was the reveal you know um you know type thing and that was going to be interesting to see that um they didn't have him in, in that that we didn't have that reveal here you know we would say that for the trailer um I think that would have been quite interesting. I was surprised they didn't do that for the trailer. What I would have done is have the arrow jump down, but it be someone completely different. So it's just like, oh, cool, someone else is putting on the hood. You know, maybe it's Roy Harper, maybe it's whatever, and not reveal that it's Colin, that it's uh, Colin Colton Donnell, um, that it's Tommy Merlin type thing. And I think it would have been better to save that reveal for the episode and just have the hood jump down. And just as he's about to think, that's when he cut the episode, cut the trailer, so you don't see who it is. Um, but we got the reveal that it is him, so I think, you know, maybe, I don't forget if there's any set photos that leaked about this, but um, maybe that's why they're not, they're not hiding it from the trailer, uh, but it's going to be cool to see where things go with this and how it ends up folding out in the, in the episode, but I just think the the reveal early on in the, in the, in the episode would have been a better thing than better for the episode rather than just for the trailer. Um, and because you, I think it's a perf- it's a big enough reveal that oh, you know, someone else puts on the the arrow costume and and shows up at court. You know, breaks into the court to reveal that he, you know, that Oliver is not to 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 keep Oliver's secret identity intact, which is something that in in most of these shows, these CW shows no one really has a secret identity really um i mean black lightning kind of is a secret identity from henderson but uh you know not really many people have uh you know it's not really a secret identity oliver like pretty much anyone you know everyone he knows knows that he's green arrow and anyone else is just kind of he's just a mask he puts on you know he doesn't really um need to do this it's just kind of a random person so you know it, 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 i like to getting back to the whole secret identity thing that's the whole point of the superheroes the fact that they have secret identities and all and i think that's a, the, the fun thing to go and play with and with oliver going back to to basics and going back to solo and being all alone i think that's a quite thing a cool thing to play with and getting back to the whole secret identity thing uh could be fun to play with that's something that none of the shows uh, are really playing with at all so and even in the movies like the well the only movies that matter really are the marvel movies but the you know not really much of a secret identity really being played with on even in any of the marvel stuff so i like to get back to that because that's one thing that's one classic superhero trope that you know they've been doing they did a long time with with superman christopher reeves and all that stuff that they haven't they've taken a break from that because it was too repetitive and i get that back when arrow started and all that stuff you know it's that trope's been done and stuff you did it for the first few seasons and then uh kind of going away from it but now i kind of really like to get back to it to the whole secret identity thing and i kind of wish uh, you know we could go back to where oliver actually was alone and you know no one all the people around him 
he has to keep that secret again. He has to make excuses. He has to make this. I think that's where kind of I miss those things, uh, those classic superhero tropes and things like that, where he's you know, uh, oh, well, you, have, you know, they, Oliver's gone, but they have right there. You know, just making up excuses and um, as to where he was and uh, how come you know you're never around when super how come Clark Kent's never around when Superman's around and all those things is just something that I think would be cool to bring back uh, because we really don't have that in any of the superhero shows on today. So let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below. What do you think about the reveal in the trailer? Um, and do you think it, that they should have left that for the episode and just have the, the, the arrow jump down and not reveal who's wearing the costume? Because it could have been anyone. It could have been Roy Harper. It could have been Diggle putting it on again. could have been uh, Curtis putting it on again. could have been, uh, you know, I don't think Curtis put it on before, but it could have been anyone. Um, but uh, so it could be cool to see who uh, it could be, would be play um we would play the uh, the Green Arrow now. I guess if 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 uh, Roy Harper did it, he's already done that, so maybe it wouldn't work. But I'm just saying it would have been uh, something to not reveal who it could be because it could have been anyone. It could be it, it could have been Barry Allen over from the Flash. You know, he could have jumped over and done that. Although, less likely, but uh, um, because he just got you know convicted for is the crime and stuff or before and he just got out of prison so he doesn't want to do that but i think the idea there it would have been better to leave it a mystery rather to who it is you know i think that could be quite would have been quite better to do that so all in all i think it's going to be cool to see where things go with this um and is this is this tommy merlin going to just give himself up this earth x version is he going to you know go to prison is he going to just you know hand himself in um, and why is he doing this? What What is the explanation? Is he going to do this? Obviously, he might do this because, you know, on his earth, maybe he became Green Arrow because Oliver Queen died and all that stuff. And it's a vice, the complete opposite roles. All the stuff happened to Oliver in this show happened to probably, um, you know, the other way around. Actually, no, his Oliver Queen is probably was the, the Nazi, was the Hitler type thing. So I think that doesn't work out. But, um, you know, as to what is his motivation and what is the motivation he's going to give to the courts as to why the Green Arrow is giving himself up rather than just letting, uh, you know, uh, Oliver Queen take the fall so that he can continue being the Green Arrow. So I think that's going to be a cool thing to, pl to, to play with and see how they, he explains that to the court as, as to why he's just giving himself in just because Oliver Queen's being... Um, you know what connection does he have? What, what con relation does he have to Oliver Queen that makes him want to, uh, you know, um, admit to, that he is the Green Arrow, even though he technically not. But he's, you know, why would he? Why would the Green Arrow kind of out himself? Uh, you know, if they have the wrong man, right? Why would he do that? So I think that's going to be cool to play with that and what explanation he gives to the courts to the, for that. So that's going to be cool to see that. I can't wait to see where things go from here. And we still have to set up Roy Harper to coming back as a season regular and to as to why um, Thea is going to not be a season regular or not be in season seven of uh, Arrow. I mean, she might be in one or two episodes. Like they might call her back for the... Um, for the mid-season crossover that would be fun and then have her take off for the after that but uh i think it's gonna be cool to see how they set that up in the next three episodes as to why war harper is, is you know a season regular but not the uh, i think that's gonna be cool to see that and how that kind of affects their relationship um as we as we go uh, as we go from here so that's going to be cool to see that and see how we finish that within the next three episodes so it's going to be a lot to do and a lot to deal with um so it'll be f quite fun to see how things kind of finish off with the next three episodes so let me think guys about this in the comments below about season six episode 20 shifting Al uh, alliance allegiances and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.